This was a story that left a mark on the nation. 1993, 12-year-old Polly Klaas, K-L-A-A-S, stolen, abducted, murdered, horrified us. It just uh, was every family's nightmare. No cliché. She was hosting a, slum a slumber party with her friends. This guy with this long rap sheet, it's literally the monster in the midst story come real. This guy, Richard Allen Davis, breaks into the party, blindfolds the girls, takes Polly from her own home, and then strangles her to death. He was arrested, arrested and sentenced to death. Now, part of that was because of all these sentencing enhancements. But now there is a change in the California law. And those enhancements are being taken away as being seen as too prejudicial. That could change the sentence and give a right to a sentencing hearing that may give this guy a chance of reducing his sentence. And a lot of other people like this guy. Polly's father, Mark, is saying not on his watch. He's been fighting for his daughter and her legacy and other child crime victims for three decades. And he was there for the first court hearing today. And he says this is a big problem. Mark Kloss joins us now. Mark, thank you very much. What do you want people to know? Well, what I want people to know and, and what I found out here in the aftermath of, of learning about this hearing for him, um, I read the, the defendant's motion to the judge and they kept referencing a list. They said he's on, on this list of people that qualify for sentence enhancements. So I did a, a FOIA a Freedom of Information request to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, and they sent me a list with 9,500 names on it. 9,500 individuals that are currently in the California system are going to be able to apply for and have these hearings. What this is going to do, Chris, is it's going to rock the world of 9,500 different victim families, just as it's rocked my world in the last week or so. It's going to tie up the courts probably for years to come as DAs prepare to argue at these 9,500 hearings. Nobody knows about this. Nobody knows about this. I think I'm the only person that's asked for this entire list. So my goal now is to just inform people, to certainly inform the public and let them know the kind of shenanigans that are going on in our criminal justice system right now, but most assuredly to inform the other victims' families so they can prepare and they won't be blindsided as I was just some weeks ago. Help people understand this isn't about them removing the conviction. What are the kinds of enhancements uh, have now been found as a matter of law to have been too prejudicial that went to the benefit of the sentence that this monster got in your daughter's case? Well, what they're saying, and I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really dig too deeply into this, but what they're saying is that they're Basically, all of the enhancements, so gun enhancements would be one. Um, there's many of them. All the enhancements that don't involve a, a, a sexual nature, that, that are not uh, part of a sex crime, a sexual enhancement. Uh, and somehow this guy, Richard Allen Davis, whose whole career is based on, on, on assaults on, on innocent women, um, the sexual assaults on innocent women, never qualified for any of these because he kept playing down. So now we find ourselves in this situation, and the question is, if Richard Allen Davis, one of the most reviled people in the California prison system, qualifies for a resentencing hearing, then who in the world else qualifies for a resentencing hearing? And it turns out there are 9,500 of these goons. And I think that that's going to have a terrible impact on public safety in California. And that's not the, uh, the full set or complement of people who will try it even if they are not designated by that by by the court you can see this slew of habeas motions uh, you have the body federal motions that they should have a chance to have this petition we'll stay on it we're a phone call away uh, thank you very much for fighting for your daughter's legacy and making sure that there's justice in place we'll be part of it thank you so much chris hey thank you for watching please go to newsnationnow.com newsnationnow.com and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.